Hi, everyone. Dan, let's talk about assumptions and let's talk about seasoning your food before tasting it and how it all comes together. So, okay. A very fa- I forget. I, I think it was Ford or somebody who would take people out to eat. And if they season their food before tasting, he felt it, it told him something that he didn't like. Mm. He wanted people to experience things before they decided to do that. Now, if I go to breakfast and I get a couple eggs over easy, I'm always going to put pepper on it. I'm not going to taste it first. I'm going to put pepper on it. I think there are reasonable assumptions to make or things to approach like that. You just don't want to go too far with it, if that makes sense. But can you talk about that aspect of it and how important it is to not just come to conclusions without having done the grunt work, if you will, to understand if that's really what's happening? I remember I was meeting with a financial advisory company and the person who invited me in, I looked them up. I couldn't find them on LinkedIn. I found them on Facebook. And as I'm, re- they had this dog, but I forget what kind of dog it was, right? Anyway, I wrote that down. And I remember we're in this meeting, there's six or seven people from their company. Yeah. And and this was early on in my Sandler career. I thought I was so smart. And and so <laughs> I, I it was probably like 2008, nine, I don't know. Anyway, um, I mentioned this person having the dog and the person looked at me like horrified that I knew that information. And I remember the, the CEO or president looked at her and said, I didn't even know you had a dog. And I, I kind of was like, oh, yeah, I found that out. And I find out later, they, they thought I was some like, I don't know, some secret person that's checking out all of them. And they didn't hire me because of that. So that, that, that's all to say, look, I, I think we need to do some research. I want to know the company, what they do. And I want to know what is the title of the person that I'm talking to so I can understand what their pain might be. But that's it. Don't don't go look at them up on LinkedIn. Don't do any research on what papers did they write. Not for the first meeting anyway. Just yeah. just gain a little bit of information. Rely on my experience to know what questions I need to ask to uncover pain and just do it. Now, here's a catch, John. There are so many salespeople that frankly don't like the prospect. They don't like doing sales stuff. Yep. And so they tell their boss, well, I spent 30 minutes researching this company. Yes. Like it's a big thing, right? So yes. t- sometimes we do it to try to avoid some of the other sales stuff. So key to all that, a little bit of research just to know some basics and then that's it. Yeah, I, I love the approach because that for me, that keeps me curious as I'm getting to know somebody and I'm going to ask the natural curious questions that will bring things to the surface and I'm not predisposed to a bunch of information I found. I will say that we get a lot of pushback in that thinking because certain people feel, certain salespeople feel, look, if I don't do my homework, I'm not representing to that prospect that I'm taking it seriously and I've done my homework and I'm really understanding what's going on before I go in. We have some people that will literally tell us they spend two to three hours of prep work when they get an appointment for us, from us. We really try to discourage them from doing that um, because of the things we just talked about. But, but there's that sentiment of, hey, if I'm a serious person in a serious business, I got to show I did serious homework. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a lie we tell ourselves that I need I need all this information. The reality is you don't. Just you better have some great questions you want to ask. There we go. And, and I, I will tell you, if you and I went on a sales call and you had all that information, but I had prepared the questions, I would kick your butt. Every day of the week. Yep. On that note. Get work. out of here. Quit researching. <laughs> 